Good morning and uh, welcome to this week's video. I am delighted that you're joining me today. Today we're just doing a, a little photography adventure um, near the Mayo River, close to the Virginia-North Carolina border. We're gonna do a little bit of waterfall photography, a little trail photography, and whatever else sparks my interest this morning. Um, so that's the main goal. The other thing I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to talk a little bit about the women's technical straps for the Shimoda camera bag. So, um, so I'll talk a little bit about my, that a little bit later on in the video. So anyways, we are almost to the very first waterfall that we're gonna photograph this morning. So I'm gonna shut up. I'm gonna, we're gonna get going. We're gonna take some photos. We're gonna have a fantastic day. So anyways, let's get going. Okay, so I'm totally out of breath. I just basically did two sprints in an attempt to get a shot that I don't think I can get by myself. I see it, but I'm so out of breath. Let's moment of truth. Am I in this shot or not? Crap, I'm still not in it. I need like a, a 30 second timer. 20 seconds is too short. Crap. I don't think I'm gonna try to sprint a third time. I'm out of breath. Oh well, I tried. I'll have to do it another time when I have somebody with me. Whoo. Okay, I kind of caught my breath a little bit, so I thought I would talk just briefly about the composition that I, um, that I took that I was attempting to get that involved me sprinting. And I'm just not fast enough, or it's just too far, or a combination of both, I don't know. So anyways, uh, the scene is right behind me, and so there is, you can see this uh, bench that's at the top of this waterfall. And so my hope was that I'd be able to sprint up there fast enough to, pose myself up on the bench and take a photo. But unfortunately, um, my camera will go to a 20 second shutter speed. And um, unfortunately, it's, uh, it's not long enough for me to get up there. So that sucks. But the photo is still pretty even without me in it. But I just think that it, with somebody up there, I think that it would really, really bring in and tie in the whole scene since there's a bench there, a bench. Someone sit there, but um, maybe some other day when I have somebody with me. But camera setting wise, so first off, I have both my polarizing filter on and then the six stop neutral density filter on this lens um, to be able to get these shutter speeds because it is a little after, it's like probably close to 9 a.m. Um, but although it's cloudy, which is helping me today. Um, camera setting wise, um, my focal length is approximately 40 millimeters is the focal length uh, for this shot. Um, camera, the settings are ISO 100. 
aperture is f11 and then my shutter speed is around three quarters of a second so not quite a full second and i found that that shutter speed was really good to kind of like draw out and show the motion of the water um in to make really smooth it out and stuff i did try a little bit faster with shutter speed and i just didn't like the way the water looked so i just adjusted the shutter speed slower which involved upping the aperture um, but anyways, so I think I have a nice photo there. Wish I could get up there, but I just can't. So it's okay. That's another time. It's not that far from my house. But anyways, I think I'm going to try to find a couple other little compositions in this particular area. Might even swap onto my 70 to 200 and maybe get some more intimate shots of the waterfall. We'll see. Um, and then I'll just pack up and continue on the trail to explore and take some other photos. So um, I'm about ready to show you some photos that I have taken and then uh, I'll check back in with you once I have another composition or I see something else that I want to talk about. So anyways, uh, enjoy these photos and we'll check back in with you here in a bit. that I wanted to kind of take photos of but I've been really struggling trying to get a composition so that I, I like um, so right behind me there's there's these kind of like little rapids and so I was trying several different slow shutter speeds um, I tried vertical I tried horizontal um, I just couldn't find I just couldn't find a composition that I liked um, nor a shutter speed so I just think that that's kind of um it's a dud for today um, just maybe too much water because it's just kind of like this blurry blobby mess um, and while going looking down river it looks nice the only problem is it's just very plain very blah right now because there's no leaves on the trees so I'm thinking maybe like mid-spring or fall always fall um, but like maybe mid-spring when there's some maybe some leaves on the trees and stuff this could be really pretty um, even down this river there's some rocks and there's some trees oh i like this like leaning tree right here so i'm thinking this the compositions that i'm kind of seeing from this particular vantage point i'm thinking this is going to be a, a spring fall type of situation that spring summer fall situation that's going to result in some better lighting um, and colors and just more interest um, but yeah today just just not having it today and that's okay some scenes just aren't meant to be photographed um i'm sure if i spent a lot more time i might be able to find a composition but i i just not i'm not feeling it so we're gonna pack up the tripod and we're gonna head down just a little bit further um actually not that much further because we're almost we're almost to virginia um just a little side note um actually this tree you can kind of see it maybe it's like this beech tree right there there is like some yellow paint that's uh basically virginia so we are almost to virginia um but anyways we're gonna just pack up i'm gonna walk down a little bit further i see some picket cables and stuff so we'll see if um maybe down there is some stuff but um you know 
It's a gorgeous morning. I'm the only one out here. I really can't complain too much. So anyway, whatever. Pack it up. Let's get head out. to officially welcome you to Virginia. Okay, so we made it to the picnic table. Um, so I thought I'd take the moment, take a little time to kind of talk about the women's technical strap since I said I would talk about it. Here we go. Um, so before I had the petite simple straps and they worked great, they were comfy. I did some long hikes with them. They worked great in the summertime, but one of the things that I found as a struggle during the winter, cooler months, whenever I put an extra couple layers on, I would struggle with strapping the middle strap. Um, so oftentimes I would just have that hanging loose. Um, the other problem I had with the simple strap is, by definition, it is simple. And so it's basically just a strap. You don't have this added pocket here or this added pocket right here. And so I always struggle trying to find a spot for my cell phone because I do like to have it handy. So having it deep in my bag always annoyed me because it's so it'd always be like in a pocket or my back pocket. And um, I'm notorious for dropping my cell phone in uh, rivers and waterfalls and just everywhere, which is why I have a, the Google Pixel because of the water resistant rating. Um, so I knew I had my eyes on trying out the technical strap and then I had the opportunity to ask for it at Christmas time. And so these were a gift during Christmas time. So thank you, Auntie Carol, uh, for the women's technical straps. Um, so the last two videos, you may have noticed that I was actually using these straps. Um, but you will also have noticed that I wasn't using my Peak Design Capture camera clip. And that was because originally I couldn't figure out how to get it on because this strap is a little bit wider than the petite simple strap. So I couldn't, I couldn't attach it around until I remembered that there is alternate uh, screws. They come with a longer pair when you purchase the capture camera clip. And uh, I was like, oh yeah, that's right. I have these extra long screws that would allow me to actually clip it on. So today was my first day out in the field with the capture camera clip with the new women's technical straps. And uh, for the most part, it works out great um, right where the location is. What I do like about it is because the strap is wider, it, I don't have it sliding up and down like I would tend to have sometimes with the simple straps. Um, the one downside to the location of the Peak Design clip is when my camera is here, it's hard to access the pocket where I have my cell phone. So it just, it's a little, my cell phone's a lot more accessible, but it's not, it's not perfect. Um, any higher up and then it's up here near, near my neck and that would be really uncomfortable. Um, so the main reason, so why did I want the technical straps? Main reason I wanted the technical straps was this lovely little pocket right here, which fits my cell phone, which I'm recording on right now, perfectly in here. So um, that was the whole reason why I really wanted the women's technical strap. The other cool thing about this strap is this little pocket right here, which unfortunately it's too small for me to fit my water bottle. However, my tripod and stuff, like my little Joby tripod or my GoPro tripod fits perfectly right here. So then it makes it even more accessible for the GoPro. Um, one thing that I do need to figure out is where I wanna have my pepper spray um, because I have found with the location that it is right here, while well, it's handy and accessible, um, I get a little overzealous, then I get a little more pep in my step. Um, I have hit myself in the chin with my pepper spray. so. I want to find a new location for that that's still accessible, but maybe doesn't whack me in the chin. So um, overall, the other key difference between these two straps has to do with the cushion. 
So the cushion for the simple straps is very similar to the belt strap. Um, the women's technical strap is a lot more just foam and not quite the same cushion like here. So I will be curious to see how that feels when I'm wearing like tank tops in the summertime. Um, that could be a little bit of annoying because these straps are a little bit wider. So it could hit me a little bit further into my armpit region. So it may be one of those things that I will certain hikes or if I'm wearing like a certain like tank top, I may switch to the simple straps. But thankfully, Shimoda makes it very easy to swap out your straps, um, which is one of the key reasons why I went with the Shimoda camera bag. Um, if you have not seen my, sh if you're curious about the Shimoda camera bag, I have a link in the description below and at the end of the video, a link to my, my kind of my review of all the pockets and stuff of the Shimoda camera bag. Um, because I absolutely love it. It does work very well for people of basically of all heights. And as I think I mentioned earlier, I'm under five foot. So this camera bag works for me. And then even the women's technical straps work for me. So if you have some questions, if you're a woman and you're trying to decide between the simple straps and the women's technical straps, and you have some like detailed questions you have, like size of myself or whatever, just, you know, send me, comment down below or um, go to like my Instagram page and DM me and I will um, be more than happy to kind of give you a little bit more in-depth details about my own body shape and then how these two bags fit on my body because I think that that's one of the things that's a challenge as a female photographer is finding things that fit me and being a petite photographer it's even more of a challenge so um, I will kind of I'm making myself available if you have questions about the women's technical straps in relation to like the petite simple straps dm me more than happy to kind of share some details and some additional thoughts so anyways overall very happy with the technical straps they're very handy i just i love having a spot for my pot uh, for my cell phone it's just makes it so much handier so anyways um i have no regrets with asking this as part of my christmas present so thank you again auntie carol um, anyways, we are, um, we're kind of about to where I've had in my mind of hiking today. Um, so I think, I think I'm going to head back to my car and I'll probably take some photos along the way. But for the most part, I think what I'll do is I'm just going to, since I'm here, I think I'm just going to wrap up this video. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I could have just stuck at the waterfall at the beginning of the trail and just been perfectly happy and satisfied and left. Um, I think maybe later on, like this summer or in the fall, um, might be worth coming out and taking some photos of the Mayo River and stuff. But uh, today, it's just very gray, very blah. Um, but the waterfall was pretty. Maybe I'll, maybe I will attempt one more time to sprint and get myself up at the top of the waterfall. And if I do, I'll share a photo with you right now. Um, so, anyways. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video and the photos that I took, please consider giving a thumbs up and sharing it with friends and family. If you have questions about the women's technical straps, DM me on Instagram or down in the comment section and I will provide you some more in-depth details about the camera straps. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel and you would like to continue to come along on my photography adventures, I encourage you to subscribe right now. So anyways, you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. We'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.